reflect on the words, Arise, my love, come away with me. God is a God of invitation, who longs for an ever-deepening intimacy with us. When our souls feel dry and barren, God calls us to come closer to Him. When life is full and busy, perhaps overly busy, God calls us to step aside and draw near to the source of life. When we feel overwhelmed or stressed or tired or... God whispers, come. God's ongoing invitation of love and grace is come, come with me. Come my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. In all seasons of life, God calls us to pause and step away from all that disturbs and distracts. God calls us into a deeper place of peace, of stillness and wholeness. May we find time in this season to come away, to come away to the source of life and find rest for our souls. May we discover more of what it means to keep company with God and live freely and lightly. Come close to the one true God and God will draw close to you. Come near to the one who loves you and find rest for your souls. My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth. The season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling. My beautiful one, come with me. O true God, you are my God, the one whom I trust. I seek you with every fibre of my being. In this dry and weary land with no water in sight, my soul is dry and longs for you. My body aches for you for your presence. I love God's invitations to come away and be more deeply and intentionally in God's presence. I especially love the invitation in Song of Songs, Arise my dearest, my beauty, and come away with me. There is a real sense here of being known by God and of being beloved by God. In this song, the season has changed. Winter has given way to spring with all its beauty of birdsong and blossom. Something is in the air. 
and the invitation is to step aside from the normal daily routine and discover the beauty of the awakening world and the presence of God. This is a call to embrace new invitations and a new awakening. It is a call to delight and intimacy in a particularly beautiful season. Yet, this is not the only occasion where God calls us to come, to step aside. 700 years before the birth of Jesus, God spoke to his people who had broken relationship with him. Speaking through the prophet Hosea, God invites them to pause and come away with him. Therefore, I am now going to allure her. I will lead her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. This is an invitation to step away from all distraction and disturbance and spend some time in silence and solitude with God alone. It is an invitation to restoration and renewal of relationship. This is how Jesus lived out his relationship with his Father. He cultivated a rhythm alternating between active ministry and engagement and withdrawal into silence and solitude with God alone. In a life characterized by teaching, healing, and living out the truth and values of the kingdom, this is the way Jesus was able to live joyfully and abundantly, with a deep peace and a strong sense of his identity and calling. And Jesus, clearly recognizing the transformative power of such a rhythm, invited his disciples to do the same. Many of us are familiar with Jesus' promise of rest and his affirmation, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And I suspect that many of us have often wondered why following Jesus seems anything but easy and unburdened. Too often the yoke doesn't seem to fit and the burden may feel unbearable. It may feel like there is little of lightness and joy in our life or our ministry. Perhaps the answer lies in discovering these unforced rhythms of grace, in finding that perfect harmony between active ministry and withdrawal into silence and solitude with God alone. And that balance will be different for each of us and will be different in different seasons. We find that perfect rhythm for ourselves through our abiding and deep connection with our God. Jesus reminds us. There is a beautiful rhythm and ever-perpetuating cycle in this. 
When we remain deeply connected to the vine, to our beloved, we hear God's call to come away, to pause, to withdraw from our busy schedules and to spend time in silence and solitude with God alone. When we respond to this invitation to be present with God in this way, we are nurturing that deep abiding connection that gives us life and joy and rest for our souls. And so we continue to hear and respond to the invitation. We find indeed that Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. We find rest for our souls. We discover how to live freely and lightly. We experience life in joyous abundance. Take some time now to reflect on God's loving invitation to you. What might it look like for you to respond to this invitation today. I put aside my weighty cares and leave my wearisome toils for a while. I abandon myself to you, O oh God, and rest for a little in you. my dearest. Hurry, my darling, come away with me. I have come, as you have asked, to draw you to my heart and lead you out. For now is the time, my beautiful one. Arise, my love, my beautiful companion. Run with me to the higher place. For now is the time to arise and come away with me. When life is full and seems overwhelming, may you hear the still small whisper of God, come. When you are weary beyond thought, too tired to think, may you hear the loving invitation of Jesus, come away with me. When you don't know where to turn next, and hope seems far away, may you hear the joyous call of the Spirit, arise my love, my beautiful companion, and come away with me. May you hear the invitation, respond to the call of love, find rest for your soul and life that is joyous and abundant.